Hello, my viewers and subscribers. Welcome to another episode of Jamaica Politics Uncovered. New subscribers, welcome. Returning subscribers, welcome back. Guys, in this upload, I'm going to let you hear what Miss Venisha Phillips had to say about these polls and how the PNP distorts polls and has a history of doing that to their own party members and candidates and even to their leader with people like Paul Burke who use polls to remove people and that's where the destruction of the PNP really, really came to full effect and also Peter Bontin adopting that style and that is what caused the PNP to further sink. So, when I know so them just run some polls and I put up, but I just remind you, because know, I want hear upon this program, you know, what PNP stalwarts like Liz have been saying that they did to Dr. Bloomfield, who was murdered, um, where they ran polls in his constituency. So they said, Paul Burke, while he was away in China. And when he came back, they said, hey, you need to leave because we did polls and you're not doing well. And he put up a fight and boom, we hear that he died. Anyway, have a listen to what Miss Phillips has to say. The PNP used to use this internally. It was used in a vicious and savage way. It is something they use when they want to remove candidates who would put up a fight anyway. So this is actually a strategic tool in the toolbox of the PNP. These polls, I wouldn't give any credence to them. This particular one. So rather than spend the money to help to develop people, you waste it on polls to do what? Massage the ego of the leader of the PNP? How sad. The good thing is, in a Jamaica, Tom may look drunk, but Tom ain't no fool. So nobody is giving any credence to this. Ms. Phillips says the poll is part of a strategy she saw employed several times by the PNP during her many years as a comrade. I mean, come on, just think about it. It is so odd that a PNP commissioned poll has been run so many times by the cleaner. And I can tell you why. They're hoping that people will not recognize it to be a PNP poll in order to validate it. But just think about it. I made a wager only yesterday. Yeah, man, I made a bet that the next news item is going to be that PNP or Mark Golding surges ahead. I only just noticed a tweet from Dayton saying the very same thing I made a bet about yesterday. This is a played out strategy by the PNP. And when I say played out, it is so overused. Ms. Phillips says that the PNP is concerned about the traction gained by the government in the wake of the implementation of several measures announced in the recent budget debate. She says that the polls are intended to help blunt the impact of those budget measures. But look at the stupidity of this particular poll. It is coming when they need a distraction from the fact that what? The 1st of April came in when the salary adjustments, the second part, would have taken effect. So it, it is coming in to coincide with the month end payments. Teachers are feeling a little bit better. Public servants generally, those who have seen a movement in their salaries, they're in a kind of a different mood and mode. You see it all across social media, even from some known comrades, you know. And so what they want to do is detract from that. Venetia Phillips, former PNP counselor for the... So she spoke the truth. She spoke the gospel truth. And it is a very dangerous thing that they've done with these polls. Very, very dangerous. I don't call it strategic. I call it dangerous based on what we have seen. And it's nothing that's hiding. It's something that we saw play out in the PNP most recently, where Peter Bunting and Mark Golding commissioned Don Anderson to run poll on their leader. And what happened? That poll that they use, they try to convince the people that the leader should be challenged. The leader ended up beating them, which is quite embarrassing. And then as a result of that defeat, they proceeded to sabotage him and their party, bringing it down to 14 seats. So she told nothing but the truth. We must not normalize this style of politics in our country. I don't think it's safe. We need to have a country where people 
whether internally within an, a political organization or nationally. People should be able to have the right to choose freely, to choose their representatives, to choose their leaders, to choose their prime ministers freely without the influence of misleading polls and um, the misuse, the misuse and abuse of polls. We should not have a country where political parties are running polls on each other, are internally running polls on their own. It disrupts democracy. Once you have that happening within a party and that party come to its demise, you're going to have a one-party system functioning. That is what we are seeing in Jamaica today. And it's not good. So Venetia spoke the truth. So it's no wonder when Venetia was running as councillor in the local government election, it is no wonder Peter Bunting Screechy got into her constituency and dropped all this money to make sure that she was silenced. But I say to Venetia, continue speaking. If we should hear that anything happened to Venetia, we know where to look and who to look at. So they won't dare. But with that being said, we need a complete overhaul of our politics in Jamaica and our bad actors, the bad actors in our politics. The people of Jamaica are tired of manipulation, of sabotaging, undermining, you know, these witchcraft and thing where them use to distort the reality of what is happening, the death and destruction in our politics. We are seeing it, guys. Rest in peace to Dr. Bloomfield, right? As you guys know, what happened to Dr. Bloomfield, they have yet to find the guy who they claim did it. The guy suddenly disappears in thin air. We don't know if he's dead or alive. We don't know. He was supposed to show up at the first trial. Disappeared. This is the politics that we have on our island right now. And if we as patriotic Jamaicans don't stand up, it is going to be a perpetual cycle until these bad actors all die out. We don't want to wait that long. We want good politics, decent politics, Politics that we can engage in again and that we can have the confidence in our political institution and believe that when we're not looking, people are going to be doing the right thing. Guys, make sure you're keeping it locked here to Jamaica Politics Uncovered, where you get all your political news, reviews and updates. See you in the next video. this internally it was used in a vicious and savage way it is something they use when they want to remove candidates who would put up a fight anyway so this is actually a strategic tool in the toolbox of the pnp these polls i wouldn't give any credence to them this particular one so rather than spend the money to help to develop people you waste it on polls to do what massage the ego of the leader of the pnp how sad the good thing is in a jamaica tom may look drunk but tom ain't no fool so nobody's giving any credence to this. Ms. Phillips says the poll is part of a strategy she saw employed several times by the PNP during her many years as a comrade. I mean, come on, just think about it. It is so odd that a PNP commissioned poll has been run so many times by the Gleaner. And I can tell you why. They're hoping that people will not recognize it to be a PNP poll in order to validate it. But just think about it. I made a wager only yesterday. Yeah, man, I made a bet that the next news item is going to be that 
PNP or Mark Golding surges ahead. I only just noticed a tweet from Dayton saying the very same thing I made a bet about yesterday. This is a played out strategy by the PNP. And when I say played out, it is so overused. Ms. Phillips says the PNP is concerned about the traction gained by the government in the wake of the implementation of several measures announced in the recent budget debate. She says the polls are intended to help blunt the impact of those budget measures. But look at the stupidity of this particular poll. It is coming when they need a distraction from the fact that what? The 1st of April came in when the salary adjustments, the second part, would have taken effect. So it is, it is coming in to coincide with the month end payments. Teachers are feeling a little bit better. Public servants generally, those who have seen a movement in their salaries, they're in a kind of a different mood and mode. You see it all across social media, even from some known comrades, you know. And so what they want to do is detract from that. Venetia Phillips, former PNP counselor for the... So she spoke the truth. She spoke the gospel truth. 